Welcome once again, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to Mysteries from Beyond the Other Dominion. I'm your host, Dr. Franklin Rule. Now, roll tape. Now it's time to tell you about that new dinosaur find. It actually is from Niger in West Africa and pertains to this critter right here, who's now called the Niger-saurus. He lived about 110 million years ago. That's in the early Cretaceous period, about 30 feet long, 5 to 10 tons. And what was unusual about him is that he had, as we just discovered, 500 tiny sharp teeth in his mouth. 500. Each primary tooth is backed up by eight replacement teeth. Very convenient. Now, he also had a very thin skull, and it's believed that in life, with a thin skin over that skull, they might have actually been able to see the brain underneath. His t that is a tiny brain. And because he has such a weak head, he can't, uh, could not have foraged for leaves on trees. Instead, he probably ate grasses. In fact, they're calling this creature the cow of the Mesozoic era. And an amazing find. He's a relative of some of the better known sauropods, which means a large four-legged uh, vegetarian dino. For example, here's the Apatosaurus, or otherwise known as the Brontosaurus, an American dinosaur. He was about 69 feet in length, also a vegetarian, but predated our friend from Niger. He actually lived in about 135 million years ago in the, in the Jurassic period. There's also the Diplodocus, who's about 89 feet long, also a North American dino from that same period. And of course, there's always the possibility that such creatures had two heads, yes, and would eat from two different trees. And these could eat trees, these were not foragers from the ground. But an amazing discovery from Niger and Africa, which has become a new hotbed of dino discoveries along with China and Argentina. Now until next time, may the power of the cosmos and the Niger Cyrus be with you. Yes, yes, yes.